Hello, I'm back again, Lutra FM, bringing you another episode of the Fight Club Pro Save on TW9. And in the last episode, we did three shows, or yeah, I think it was three shows, um, and we booked 50% women, 50% men. We've got a hell of a women's roster now, so why not use it wisely? And we used it very well, and we also crowned a new women's champion in Maki Ito. So hopefully her reign will be a glorious one. She is our biggest star, according to the creative. So we might as well use that while we've got her to get our popularity up. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. You're going to see a lot of Maki Ito. Luke Jacobs is going to continue with his reign as well. And um, we might see, we might, we might try and test out the tag team titles, see if anybody can come along and take them off subculture. But we'll see. And I'll be back in a sec with the first show. Right, so we've got our first show of the video, and um, we're going obviously with the Star Works as usual, like so, and then we'll ignore the booking room meeting. Let's go with locker room incidents. I've got a bit. Of, bear with us two seconds. <laughs> Sorry, that was irritating. Right. Um, Dean Ayers was clearly not happy with Grado. Mel got into an argument with Grado. I'm going to have to get rid of Grado as the morale officer. The one guy I thought that would never fall out with anybody who's fallen out with them. Brendan White has got into a fight with Trent Seven. So I think I'm going to sack Brendan White. I think that's what's going to happen. And then Session Mark Martino's got a lot of heat. The rest of the locker room after pulling a tasteless rib on everyone backstage. So she's going to lose her match. And then... Flash Morgan Webster's spreading rumours about Joe Lando. So, uh, there's so much I've got to remember here. Um, anyway, came to you backstage with creative idea. So did a few others. One of the main discussion points backstage is news that Chantal Jordan and Matthew, Matthew, Nathan Martin are now uh, apparently now dating. Oh, okay, fair play. We're uh, matchmakers and matchmakers in love. There you go. Um, Amal and Maya Yamashita had a blazing argument. Training, training. Um, Soraya Knight has been passing on microphone work. Tips to Protege Shikara. Dress the locker room. So I'm going to fire Brendan White. He is out here. Yep. There we go. Just to let everybody know not to mess with me. Um... Again, I completely, what I need to do, when these incidents come up, I need to have a document ready so I can write them down. So I'll do that from the next show, from the next show of this episode, but I, I just can't remember. Oh yeah, uh, Session Moth Martina. So we'll go Session Moth Martina, Maki Ito for the women's title. And then we'll have Maki Ito win. Open match. Uh, Maki Ito after the match cutting a promo. We'll go six minutes. Uh, next match, we'll do a men's match this time. And we'll go. We'll go. Um. Let me think. I think Callum Mew. No, no, Levi Mule. He needs to get a bit of a push here. But I'm against EC3 again. I'll go 12 minutes. We'll have Levi Mule win. Um, we'll keep strong EC3. We'll even have EC3 oh, dominate. And then we'll go... Tainted win it, tainted win. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll have EC3 cut a promo. Um, Levi Moore putting a promo as well. Your um, EC3 promo. So I might turn this into a storyline. It might be the first... Actually, do you know what? I'm going to do it as a storyline. 
there you go it's official first storyline I've done for this save the good thing about it is EC3 isn't bothered about losing to Levi Mill so that's good alright so that's that so that'll start the storyline which will be good um, I think I also might do the storyline with I don't know storyline with uh, session Mark Martina and Maki Ito so we'll go Martina versus Ito get rid of that for a second um uh, and then we'll leave them as that right so if i come along if i think of any other storylines i will i could do with putting luke jacobs in a storyline with somebody but i'll leave it for now right um so that's that that's, we've, done, we've got up to that date now so now we just do a couple more matches so we'll go women's match again um, we'll go Charlie Evans because I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. Uh, her against Sheeda because I don't think Sheeda wrestled for us yet because she wasn't available at the time. I know she has actually wrestled once for us before. Leave that, leave it blank. And then we'll do a men's match now. Men's. Uh, who should we put in there? The men's roster kind of bores me at the moment. I need to probably refresh it a bit. TK Cooper will put in there. We'll have him against Trent Seven. Leave it blank. And then we've got one more match, I reckon. Um, what we'll do is we'll do a mixed match. So we'll have men versus women. So we'll I mean, men and women versus men and women basically match like a, what's it called? A mixed tag, isn't it? It's called a mixed tag. So we'll have that, and then we'll have Jordan Grace on this team. We'll have Satamora on this team. And then we just need to find a men's wrestler to go with Jordan Grace. Um, Kenny Williams. There we go. So... Intergender tag team match. There you go. We've got them in the end in my head. Okay, let's start the show. So, Maki Ito defeated Session Mark Martina with the Ito Special. Second got 52, 47 for the wrestling. Both of them worked quite well. Um, Angle got the crowd hot. Why is it not doing anything with the storyline, though? Okay, I need to look into that afterwards. Um... Yeah, oh, there you go. It did, it did. It's all right. It wasn't in green. Because it wasn't in green, I didn't think it happened. But anyway, right. Levi Moore defeated EC3 by pinfall after the Don, after Don Callas interfered. 34 for the segment, 35 for the wrestling. Um, Levi Moore and EC3 have great chemistry, so we could put them in some more matches together. Maybe go back and forth for a bit and then eventually do a big stipulation match at the pay-per-view with Levi Moore winning or something. I don't know. I'm just in my head I'm going I'm talking out loud basically. Um Angle afterwards did okay. Hashida defeated Charlie Evans with the Tamashi. Um 57 for the segment, 52 for the wrestling. Shida was pretty good as we all know. Trent Seven defeated TK Cooper, 58 for the segment, 52 for the wrestling. Trent was the better one out of the two, but Trent and TK did well as well. Did well as well. There you go. Uh, and then in the main event, Kenny Williams and Jordan Grace defeated Luke Jacobs and Satamora when Kenny Williams pinned Satamora with a swing in DT. Segment got uh, 61, 54 for the wrestling. And then who was the better worker out? Luke Jacobs with a 63 was really good. That's good. Good, good, good. Increased our popularity in one region. 70 people turned up. Just close that. We met, we lost 14 grand for this show. Still on a 16. Have we slightly improved in Japan because we've got quite a few Japanese wrestlers? No. Oh well. Right then. 
you know the score will be back in a sec right i'm back and uh yes you can see what i can see we have a new um bike club pro commentary team because i got rid of a few bad apples that were causing absolute carnage backstage so our new commentary team is god help us tom campbell i love you to bits um you're a great announcer by the way so don't take it personally um don callus and juicing from the like so that's going to be fun everyone um but yeah going back to what I was on about backstage as you can see uh locker room a locker room morale was poor um and now it's average so we just need to get rid of a few of these if they got mildly i won't bother but like if they've got negative i will get rid of them so sadie gibbs is going she hasn't really wrestled for us so i got rid of tessa blanchard um i got rid of mike sorry mark haskins so anyone like that if they're not really wrestling for us they're going because it's just i'm just sick of the backstage incidents i'm honest with you uh mildly mildly oh soraya knight is extremely negative so we definitely need to get rid of her we don't want any idiots in our on our roster thank you so we'll get rid of her as well doesn't matter shikari you just gonna have to deal with it um right let's have a look at the backstage now that'll probably make a big difference good there you go so we could get rid of no the rest are just mildly so it shouldn't be too bad um robbie x has broken up with mercedes blaze so i'm not really bothered about either but i'm not really that bothered about robbie x he hasn't really wrestled for us much so i will get rid of him there we go Mercedes Blaze is happy. Uh, let's have a look at the backstage now. Right, good. So we've got all these notable relationships are good. Um, we've got a few of these incidents, but we can't really do much about that. So yeah, that's about it really. We'll just have to crack on. I've also used the editor to just go back to zero again. Not that I'm happy about that, but like I said, there's not really much I can do. Let's have a creative for a second, see if that makes any difference. Not really. The women's are basically the women's wrestlers have took over the promotion. Leighton Buzzard and Joe Lando of uh, next big things though. Uh, Venny might need to get a bit of a push as well. I think so. We'll put her in a match coming up now. Put her, give her a win. See how we get on. All right, Star works as always. Uh, just ignore that and then Black Terry has been heard openly complaining about Steve Linsky I'm sick of seeing that now excuse me I did uh, Trisha Dora and Lady Frost have been getting on particularly well back recently which is good to see Grado has tried to bring Dean S into uh, team building but basically backfired him Amir Jordan and Grado really helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage which is great uh, some talk backstage about how much Jack Stars has been influenced by Christopher Daniels having been figure and acting in a similar way. I think that's a good thing, I don't know. Um, Joe Lando calls heat backstage when a mean spirited rib hit, he pulled on Matthew Gregg and he led to a fight breaking out. As the employee and how she used to deal with to oh okay, because I haven't got my uh, person in charge of disciplining. Because I got I got rid of Dan Reed as well because he was causing enough of the issues. I'm gonna find him. Right, Tennille Dashwood, annoyed. Uh, so we're just annoyed, I believe. We'll just give her a stern warning. And then we'll leave that blank. Right, let's crack on with the show. Um, so we'll do Venny first. We'll have her against... Uh, let's try Angel, ha Angel Hayes because I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. She might be okay. She's going to be a sacri uh, sacrilegible lamb anyway. Sacri oh, I can't remember. I can't remember what the expression is, but she's basically going to be sacrificed to Venny to get Venny over. And then we'll do a Venny cut a promo afterwards. Uh, 
and then next match we'll have a men's match and we'll go because we've got two storylines we've kind of got to just start putting these in multi-man matches I suppose to so it doesn't get boring have I missed it what's going on here ah that's what I meant to do so we'll have EC3 and let's have a look at the tag team division and we'll have uh, EC3 and more than hype against Levi Muir and we'll go malicious intent. minutes we've got there and then we'll have Levi Newell attack him after the mat after the match more attacks easy for there we go we're slowly getting Levi Newell over in the feud he he has the kind of like the last laugh even if EC3 beats him in the match he'll get the occasional match against him and that stuff like that Right, my nose is all bunged up. Sorry, everybody. It's driving me mad. And we'll do the same for the women's. So we'll have Maki Ito, Maya, what's her name? Maya Yamashita, and Hikari, Hik Hikaru Shida. So this is the team of Session Mark Martina. We'll go Millie McKenzie. And who else? Who else? Who else? Um, maybe Danny Luna, maybe Liz, Lizzie Evo. Actually, no, I don't think Lizzie Evo is very good on this database. Zybrookside, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Tenille, we'll go Tenille. I know we won't, we'll go Tyra, because Tyra hasn't wrestled for us yet. There you go. So we've got the three blondes versus the, the three Japanese rest, women's wrestlers. So we'll do that, we've got there, and then we'll just do an angle afterwards. Uh, session Mark Martina attacks Maki Ito so pretty straightforward booking nothing too exciting but and then we've got one more match in us and we'll go 10 way singles we'll have the men in this one and we'll go Luke Jacobs, um, Christopher Daniels, Callum Newman, Flash Morgan Webster, Mark Andrews, Grado, why not? Joseph Connors, Jody Fleisch, Kenny Williams, Cliff Lycos. Two. Luke, retain it. Open match. Steal the show. Huh? Oh. Forgot to put the title on the line. I thought for a second it made me think that the, the, the champion wasn't in the match, and I thought, oh God, has Luke Jacobs lost? Flash Morgan Rose is not happy. Okay, we need to just get rid of Grader out of this match then. We can't compete in the match this long. Here we go. Man like Doris. Put him in there. Oh well, Flash Morgan Webster will just have to get over it. Actually, can I protect him? Would that help? Right, let's try protecting him. See if that helps with the booking. Yeah, he's happier that way. Right, so the first match, Venny is um, Venny won her first singles match, beating Angel Hayes with the space rolling elbow. Forty five for the segment, forty for the wrestling. Um, Venny really good on the ring, sixty two. Angel Hayes not so much. Oh, I keep forgetting to get rid of Kid Lycos too as the road agent. Right, Venny afterwards cut a promo, didn't exactly do well. She needs to have um, 
it's the language barrier, so that doesn't help either. I need to give Benny a manager to do cut promos for her. Um, bear with us. I've got a bummed up nose, but there's been to call me now. It's driving me mad. Sorry, right. Let's crack on with the rest of the show. So, Levi Muir and Malicious Intent defeated the team of EC3 and More Than High. When Michael Oku submitted Darren Kearney with the half crowd. 56 for the segment, 48 for the wrestling. Uh, 64 for Michael Oku, he was the standout star. Levi Moore wasn't, he was the weak link of the match, but we have to sacrifice to make stars here. Um, and the one thing I do regret is not pushing him enough on the previous Fight Club Pro save I did in TW 2020. I kind of just kept going back and forth, so I'm, I'm going to try and sustain a push from here. 33 for the angle afterwards, and then uh, Ito, Yamashita, and Shida defeated Martina, McKenzie, and Taya Valkyrie. 68 for the segment, 59 for the wrestling. Maya Yamashita with a 72 rating, absolutely amazing performance by her. 66 for Millie McKenzie, so maybe Yamashita versus Millie McKenzie as a singles match for the next event, I reckon, if I remember. As always, I'll probably forget. Segment afterwards got a 44. And then in the main event, Luke Jacobs retained his title in the 10 way match. He submitted Joseph Connors with a 54 leg lock. Um, Luke Jacobs makes defense number 11 of the Fight Club Pro title. Luke Jacobs with a 71. See, so improving the backstage has already made a big difference to the in ring performances now. So, like Luke Jacobs, for instance, Mark Andrews, um, and Flash Morgan Webster, they didn't really hit a 70 before. I remember this from TW 2020. Somebody gave me the advice to do this and it made a big difference and I completely forgot about it at the time. So that's good. Right. Increase the popularity in one region. Overall rating is 59 and 70 people turned up. Actually, yeah, I will give Luke Jacobs and Mark Andrews Happy days. Uh, 15 grand loss for the show. Still on 16 popularity. <laughs> Megan Bain. I could bring her in, actually. She'd be a pretty good wrestler, but I think she's tied up already or else I think I would have signed her already when I was looking at all the women's wrestlers. But maybe eventually I could look into bringing her in. So, yeah, so that's that one. And then I'll be back in a sec for the last show of the episode. Right, we're back, and uh, we've made some changes to the inner circle. So we got rid of um, Grader as the morale officer. We've uh, put Tom Campbell in that position, which I think, for me, tickles me, because I know that Tom Campbell is very um, outgoing and funny and all that, but I know also he probably hate the idea of trying to keep everybody happy, <laughs> so it makes me laugh. Um, I put Black Terry as the senior referee because I was sick of him moaning about Steve Linsky. Um, we've got a Stooge, first ever Stooge I um, on this game that I've done. So the only one that was uh, a, a decent candidate was Libby Grace. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. Uh, we're quite funny, I reckon. We've got a new head of talent relations. I've put Don Callis in there. And I think that's it. I don't think I've changed anything else. So we're good to go for the next show now. Hopefully these changes will be good. We'll see. Uh, just picking the venue. Let's get rid of that. Right, Charlie Evans brought uh, bright in the mood backstage. We're doing several funny cartoon drawings of the colleagues, which is good to see. Um, Ivy Lisa has been spreading rumors about Zoe Brookside, which almost led to a fight between the two. I need to get rid of Ivy Lee. She's becoming a bit of a liability. According to a backstage rumour, Fujiwara is disgruntled with Christopher Daniels being the senior road agent. Okay, so I need to change Christopher Daniels as the senior road agent after this as well. Um, same with Kawada, is not happy about it. Training, training. Jordan Grace is clearly not happy with Tom. Oh my God, it's already started, Tom. You're already getting people irritated by you. <laughs> um, Tick Togo come backstage and said that he thinks that Elijah UK is a bright future and he'd be willing to him over in order to well that's nice to see so we need to remember to do that and I 
they've been forgot to do a document where they're right there, right there, right there, right there. I know you probably can't, you might not be able to see this, but you know. Um, Pictogo versus Elijah Sack I Belize Change um, Change Senior Road Agent I can't spell bloody senior there we go Road Agent okay right let's see what else has come on so Sat Satamora has been passing on her tips to microphone work to protege Dash See, not many locker room instances there, that's good. Right, yeah, we need to fire I release. There we go. She's out the door. Um, da, 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 da. Right, let's book the show. So we'll start with the women's match and we'll go... Uh, who should we have? Actually, no, let's go start with the men's because I completely I might forget to book this match. So we've got Dick Togo versus this is Elijah. And we'll have Elijah win. We'll go domination dominant win. Um size clean win. So there you go. And we'll just have Elijah a promo after the match see if he's any good on the mic right so that's that and then we'll do a women's match now and we'll do Rio because I don't I don't think she's wrestled for us we've got Rio and we've got Rio so we're going to do Rio versus Rio <laughs> that's what we're going to do there we go, the Battle of the Rios. And we'll have the other Rio winning. Like so, there we go. But it's right, I have booked that right, yeah. We'll do Rio attacking the other Rio after the match. So that's that. The next match will be a men's match, and we'll go um, Levi Mule versus Ayeston Reese, and it will be a dominant win for Levi Mule. Uh, dominant, there we go. An angle afterwards where we'll have Levi Moore cutting a promo and then we'll put a promo on EC3. Off screen, we'll just have them off screen, but yeah. Cutting promo. Right. I don't think we need to add it, but I'm just going to put advanced storyline just to be on the safe side. Okay. Next match, we will have women's match. So we'll have Jordine Grace versus Maya. Is Maya not available? Ah, oh, Maya's not available, so. We'll have her there, the other Maya. And then what we'll do is we'll do men's match to finish the show. We'll have Mark Andrews versus who should we have them against? Callum Newman. We'll go steal the show. start the show so obviously elijah beat dick togo with the uh, danger buster 
Got 28 for the segment, 29 for the wrestling. Um, that's that really not much else to tell you. 17 for the segment afterwards. Uh, Rio defeated the other Rio. Got 48 for the segment, 41 for the wrestling. The other Rio was way above. Ha! <laughs> Rio and Rio are pretty good uh, chemistry. That's quite funny. Uh, Rio and Dick Togo are an awkward pairing. So, right, I need to make a note. Remove Dick Togo as Rio's manager. There we go. Yep, the envelope was to do particularly well. And then Levi Moore defeated Iest and Reese. Got 36 for the segment, 36 for the wrestling. Uh, Angle afterwards got 35. The storyline is continuing. And then Jordan Grace defeated Maya Yukahai with the fall from Grace. 58 for the segment, 54 for the wrestling. Both worked pretty well. And then the main event, Mark Andrews defeated Callum Newman, the Shoot Star Press. 72 for the segment. That's a that's a big score for us. We don't usually get that high. 62 for the wrestling. Mark Andrews with another 71. Yeah, the show didn't result in any popularity change. We've got 61 overall for the rating, which is really good for us. 68 people turned up, so not too bad to end this show, uh, end this episode with. Minus 12 grand for the show. But yeah, not too bad overall. I will just make some tinkering once this finishes loading up before we go, so I don't forget. Right, so we need to, first of all, let's change her, we'll just get rid of her. Oh, she hasn't got a manager. Oh, is it the other Rio? I've accidentally done it, the other Rio. Oh, okay. Right, no. Should we give, should we give the other Rio? Dick Togo, see what happens there. Right, we'll do that then. So that's that. So that's that one done. We've already got rid of Ivy Lee. So we did Dick Togo versus Elijah. So all we need to do now is change the senior road agent and then we are good to go. I'm just going to save that. Oh, right. There we go. Inner circle. Christopher Daniels. Let's see who is. Um, right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll put Kawado as the senior road agent. Oh, I need to get rid of Christopher Daniels first. Because he's one of the ones that keeps moaning. So we'll just have that. And that's that, really. I'm just going to save the game before I forget. Um, thank you. I'm just going to scroll with this up here. Yeah, thank you as always for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll be back next week with another two episodes for the week. Uh, first one being Wednesday, as usual. So, yeah, hope you're enjoying it. Leave me a comment. And uh, thank you for your support so far. All much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. All the best. Bye.